I am Dr. Ben Newman. I am a coronavirologist with 25 years experience growing and working on coronaviruses, including SARS coronavirus. I am making this video to respond to the governor's announcement that Texas will be lifting its mask mandate. Um, it is not a good look for Texas. It's a really bad time to do that, and we're um, yeah, essentially celebrating and showboating before the race is over uh, is, is how I'd start this. So to break it down, the first thing that I found, I don't know, uh, sort of inexplicable and indefensible about this is the idea that um, the governor stated that the science has changed and that masks are no longer required to keep uh, the virus down, that uh, basically implying that the science was wrong and that now we've learned that masks somehow don't work. That's not the case, and um, that's not the case in any of the many journal articles um, that I've read. They're very large, uh, very well-reviewed um, studies with really good statistics, and they definitely show the opposite. So um, that is just not true. Um, I would say that throughout this, I don't think it's been a challenge getting Texans to not wear masks. And I don't think any particular encouragement is needed there. Uh, it's more the other way, uh, at least in certain parts. Uh, I know when I'm in the big cities, you can tell because there are usually masks on. Um, the case numbers in Texas, according to the Texas uh, DSHS, the uh, Department of... Uh, uh, state uh, health services, they reported that the number of cases in Texas is going to be artificially low because of that big freeze we had about two weeks ago. And uh, in the week after, uh, they've still been trying to catch up. And so the low case numbers are being taken as the main reason, I think, for uh, doing this. And the state itself has said that the case numbers are low because of a quirk of recording, not because the case numbers are actually uh, dropping. So in parts of the state, like uh, Texarkana, where my family lives, the number of active cases right now is about the same as um, it was on New Year's Eve. So after the Thanksgiving spike, after the start of the Christmas spike, and before the New Year's spike really kicked in and the rest of the Christmas spike came through. Um, yeah, I think this decision is wrong, bad, indefensible on scientific grounds. And um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if uh, anybody who was involved in advising or making this decision has read or understands um, any of the science. Uh, it's basically an anti-science um, declaration, which is unfortunate uh, from somebody that comes from, I guess, the other side. Um, so if anybody out there saw this and thought that the world had changed and our basic understanding of how the virus gets into a person, how it grows, and what it does to a person has changed, um, that is not the case. That is very much not the case. This is still dangerous and I don't know just as things are starting to get better just because the ship's not sinking as fast as you thought I don't really think it's time to send out the uh, whole drilling party and it looks like that's what this is so uh, yeah very disappointing announcement it will be about two to three weeks before the effects of this announcement come through and uh, they'll come through in the form of an increased number of cases beyond what it should be so yeah we've seen this over and over again and it's a very sad day uh, to see that we're making not a new mistake but a very old one and uh, yeah for reasons that uh, really don't make any scientific sense so there you go I just figured I had to say something about this, and I would imagine there will be uh, questions coming into the Dr. Ben Science Group uh, uh, soon about it. But that's how I feel. That's where we are. This is a, uh, yeah, 
very bad idea that will have consequences, unfortunately. No way around it. Thanks very much. This has been, well, not really asked Dr. Ben because nobody asked, but anyway, <laughs> that's what I think. Stay safe out there.